Hi friends, today we are going to show you uh, a trick where you can have a list that appears like a list in a standard transaction code that you can make it as grid and you can download it in an Excel and all those things. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go to FBL5N, okay? And this can happen to most of the transaction where you have this option, okay? So here I'll just execute, okay? And here, if you see, it will generate this. So here, by default, this is coming as switch like this. So what happened is here, what I did is you can go here and we can just click on switch list, okay? And the moment you do that, by default, it comes like this, okay? So if you go here and you want to change it, so what you can do is you can click here. You can go here, switch list, and click on this so the moment you click like this switch list it comes as grid and it becomes very pretty okay so now this is for fbl 1n or fbl 5n let's try to do it for another transaction and we'll just check whether this 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 happens for every every transaction code that i'm going into so what i'll be going uh, what i'll be doing is i'll be logging into another system another transaction code so what i'm doing is i'll go to fpl 1n okay so let's see oops pretty slow okay so here it shows custom line item display and let me go back go back hit the back button and in the meantime this is also running uh See, let's see. Come on, come on. Oops. Slow. The system is pretty slow. And that's one of the drawbacks of working from home because the system is pretty slow. Okay, so I think probably it's connecting. So that means it will come up for some time. Okay, here is the line item display. Okay, so I'll just execute here. And uh, the moment it comes, so here. You might see it has already flipped now you might say okay there is saying 26 items but it's not there so again i showed it one so you have this defined field defined uh, values so you you probably just need to delete this and the moment you delete it you'll get all this like this and then you can you know change it you can ex download it in excel and all those things uh, all the fun stuff you can do okay so you can do all this stuff so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day